starting a new video from Big Apple Pipes. This week, we're going to talk about one of the oldest tobacco that are still on the market, and I'm obviously talking about the Capstan. Um, in Italy, we only have the blue version in flake, but in the United States, you also have the yellow, and you also have both of them in the ready rubbed uh, cut. Um, I don't really know what's the difference with the yellow. I mean, I know that the yellow is supposedly a little lighter, a little milder, but again, this is already a pretty light tobacco, so I really cannot imagine what can be the difference. Maybe one day I will give it a try. Uh, this is very interesting for the fact that it has been on the market for so long. It was launched at the beginning of the 20th century. So we're talking about over a century ago. That if you think, if you consider of, on how many blends are out of business, are out of the market, uh, we're still seeing it happening now, nowadays, and this is still there, I think it's pretty big achievement. Yes, of course, it changed hands and producer and manufacturer many, many times over the year. I mean, this is pretty obvious, but it's still there and it's still a well-known brand among pipe smokers. So this is a big, big achievement. It was also the favorite tobacco by Tolkien, the, the author of The Lord of the Rings. Um, so let's see. Uh, the recipe also, it's pretty easy because it's just a blend of bright Virginias that just press and cut into flakes. Um, so what I expect, it's a sweet and grassy kind of tobacco. Um, I smoked it last time, it was several years ago, I smoked a few things of this and I pretty much liked it, especially I remember this very sweet flavor uh, smell when you open the tin. Uh, it's very light, but again, I mean, it's summer, it's super hot, so usually bright Virginias, light bright Virginias are my tobacco of choice when it's so hot outside. Um, there's not much more to say. Nowadays it's produced by McBaron, um, and that's pretty much it. So I think we can move forward, we can move on, we can go to the unboxing, see how it looks like, and then I let you know what are my um, experience with it, uh, if I like it, if I'm not liking it, or if I will uh, have any other thought. Let's see. So. Here it is. Of course, this is an Italian team, but the American one is pretty similar. Maybe you just don't have the, uh, you know, these uh, tobacco heads, I don't want to say, the tobacco hazard um, writings in here, but everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, in the United States, you also have the yellow version, which is not available in Italy, and you also have the uh, already ready rubbed version, which is same thing, not available in Italy as well in a round tin. I already opened this tin for the Italian version of this video. It's nice because McBarney gives us a little um, overview about this tobacco ripe Virginias selected for this blend. So nothing else, just pure bright Virginias. I must say that uh, the last time I smoked this tobacco was not uh, produced by um, McBarren, it was produced always in Denmark, but by Imperial Tobacco, and the tin was the uh, thin one. Um, anyway, the narrow one, let's say. Now, let's open, and I noticed that the paper is actually the same as I remember, and the good thing, the good news is that the smell as well is really the same. This tobacco, I think it's one of the best smelling tobacco on the market as you can see very light very bright virginias and the smell is just unbelievably sweet you really have this dried fruits dried figs smell it's just as sweet as you can imagine and as bright and light yellow color um, compared to the past the flakes are narrower this is a typical uh, thin um, flakes of McBarren. I remember before it was a little bit uh, thickier, um, but the smell is actually very much the same as I remember. So this is definitely good news. Probably the um, recipe stayed the same over the past, I don't know, 10, 15 years. Uh, I don't know about the even older remote past, but I mean, it doesn't matter. We really can smoke whatever it's on the market right now. So anyway, now I'm very curious to try it because it smells great. I don't even actually fully remember how it smells. I really, sorry, I'll test. I remember being very herb, very sweet, and this is definitely the smoking experience I'm looking for. So let's uh, try it and see how it is.
So here we are after a week smoking this capstan. Uh, I must say that I'm happy because I smoked it because the, the, the tobacco I smoked before, I didn't make an international video, I only made an Italian one. It was about Italia, which is a Virginia Kentucky tobacco, typical you can only find in Italy, but it's very low end. It's nice, but it's not great. So I was really looking forward to smoke again my beloved Virginia and Virginia Flakes. However, it has been a bit disappointing because I was comparing this Capsan to the Golden Glow and it's actually not there. Golden Glow is way, way better. The Capsan is a beautiful tea note. When you open the tea, you're overwhelmed by these wonderful sweet smells and flavors and whatever but then it's not as sweet. You smoke it, it's a nice bright Virginia, but you don't have those sweet uh, taste flavors. It's more of a cigarette kind of smoke. It's uh, more even, not big evolution. Uh, a little bit boring, I must say. After a week, I'm definitely bored. I will 100% get the Gawid Ogre and the Samuel Gawid over this. Um, and I'm here, but it's really like, hey, uh, I mean, it's a lot of grass-like kind of smoke, and the only times I had something similar to sweet was when I smoked it in the evening. Probably it's, it's a tobacco that's really like uh, a cool, cooler environment. But the good thing is that it's a tobacco that had beautiful smokes in very big pipes. So, so very often I'm not able to find a tobacco that is fit for bigger bowls because, you know, they tend to become very moist at the bottom. And so after the half of the smoke, you get to, how can I say, to a very sour kind of taste and flavors. Yeah. But this was not the case. I like it. So I will definitely smoke it in big, big pipes, uh, which is something which is definitely a pro. However, for the price it costs, also in the United States, it is like 15, 16 bucks. Uh, I will totally get the Samuel Gawit or I will get the GLPs Union Square. I will get any other thing. Uh, for the price it costs, it's not it's not worth it probably. You can also get the UHH Pure Regina instead of this, which is a pity because this is a tobacco with a very long history, a very well-established name. So probably my expectations were higher, but what can I say? Let me know what you think. What is your experience with Capsan? If you like it, if you tried it, and uh, let me know what is your 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 suggestion or your just your feeling, your feedback. Because I mean, I I am just giving mine, and it's, uh, it's yeah, not just right or wrong. It's just my experience. I want to hear from you. Uh, let me know. See you next time, and take care.